This year has been a tough one for all of us. The months of lockdown and restrictions have had a huge impact on our mental health. Looking after our mental health has never been more important than it is now. Making positive changes that support good mental well-being is possible but can seem hard especially during uncertain times. Sometimes it can be difficult to know where to start. The five ways to well-being offer a chance to do this. Our teams across BLG Mind have put together some messages for you. We hope our short videos will inspire you to find your way. For our third recording, Libby helps us take notice of what is around us in a mindful way. Hi, welcome. I'm just going to do a, a short, very simple exercise in taking notice. And it's going to involve a mindful walk. Um, and as you can see, I'm out in one of Greenwich's lovely green spaces, um, which we have loads of in Greenwich. And it's raining, and it's fine that it's raining, because we can bring mindfulness and taking notice to whatever the weather is externally and internally. So, um, taking notice is a really handy technique to allow us to come back to present moment awareness. So I know that I find that sometimes my head will be running off into all the things that I have to do in the future or worrying about the things I've done wrong in the past or haven't done. So if I take the time to just take notice about what's around me, both physically in, the, in my surroundings and also maybe internally, kind of noticing what sensations are going on in my body or how I'm feeling or the temperature of the air on the, my skin, it can really help ground me and bring me back to present moment to end. Um, so I'm going to start with just coming to stand. I mean, you don't have to be outside to do this. You can do this in your flat, in your bedroom, in the kitchen, wherever you find yourself, walking down the street. Um, I've chosen a park because I love being outside and I love nature, so it's, it's, this is a great space for me. But do whatever works for you. So I'm just going to start with coming to stand, if you're sitting that's fine too, and just allowing your eyes to shut, if that's okay, and just tuning in to your body, bringing the awareness to your breath, perhaps even placing your hand on your belly so you can feel the movement of your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Tuning into the rhythm of your breath. Not changing it in any way. Just allowing yourself to breathe in and to breathe out. And now allowing your hand to come to your side. And we're going to wake up all our senses. So if it's okay to keep your eyes shut, just allowing your eyes to close, to relax. Letting your shoulders down. And we're going to bring our awareness to sound. Just receiving sound. So I can hear the rain falling on the leaves of the trees. I can hear distant traffic. I can hear bird song. Just tuning into your environment, to your sound, your soundscape. Just taking the time allowing sounds to come and go in your awareness. And now when we're ready, we're going to shift our awareness from sound to smell, to really breathing in and getting the aromas of sound, smell. What can you smell? Perhaps you can notice the smell of food cooking. 
You like me, I can smell damp earth. Really getting a big old schnuff of aromas around you, waking up your sense of smell. And now, with your eyes shut, we're going to wake up our sense of touch. You can either just rub your hands together. I'm standing next to a beautiful tree, so I'm just going to keep my eyes shut and move my hand over the tree bark and really waking up my sense of touch. Fingertips are very sensitive to touch. Noticing if things feel smooth or rough, warm or cool. Really tuning into your sense of touch. And one more before we open our eyes, just a sense of taste. And if you're like me and you haven't got a really lovely piece of chocolate stuffed in your pocket, you can just open your mouth and really pull in the air and taste the air in your mouth. Noticing how it moves into your mouth and the temperature on your tongue. Tasting the air. Now when you're ready, allowing your eyes to open and just taking in all the colours, the shapes, the lines, the light, the shadow. Bringing that newness, maybe seeing things as if you've never seen them before. Noticing all the different colours. For me, I'm just noticing how many different shades of green there are. I'm noticing all the little acorns and the twigs. I'm noticing how the sky is made up of lots of different shades of grey. Really waking up your sight. So now, with all our senses awake, alert, we're going to begin our mindful walk. So, we're just going to start our mindful walk. And just for the first little bit, we're going to walk really slowly, just to allow us to really connect with our movement in each step. So, for the first few steps, just really slowing down and feeling your feet making contact with the ground. tuning in to the bottom of your feet as you walk, noticing how your feet move over the ground, noticing all the parts of your body that move as you walk, your legs, your knees, your hips. Perhaps you even want to coordinate your breathing with your steps, so for every step, one breath. So breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Really tuning into your steps, your walking. And as we follow our steps, we're arriving in the moment. With each step, we're arriving. And now. And as we're walking, just bringing our attention to our surroundings. So we're noticing as we're walking the rain, the sound of the rain. And knowing that we can walk and enjoy and take notice in whatever the weather. And that's kind of an internal feeling. So we can take our moments, even when things aren't so great, we can even notice the small things that we appreciate or that we enjoy. But this taking notice, 
this coming to the present moment is always here, always available to us. But whatever's going on for us, if we can just stop for a moment and bring our focus, bring our awareness to what's going on around us, maybe in the natural world or just maybe bringing attention to your breath, that it can bring us back into the present moment and help us uh, make better, kinder, wiser decisions for ourselves. And I just want to finish with this poem, and it's one of my favourite poems, and it's by a poet called Chief Dan George. And as I'm standing under this beautiful tree with the rain dropping on me, um, it felt very appropriate. The beauty of trees, the softness of air, the fragrance of grass speak to me. The summit of the mountain, the thunder of the sky, the rhythm of the sea speak to me. The faintness of the stars, the freshness of the morning, the dew drops on the flower speak to me. The strength of the papaya, the taste of the salmon, the trail of the sun, and the life that never goes away, they speak to me and my heart soars. Thank you. Thank you for spending this 10 minutes with me um, and taking notice with me. Um, and please enjoy carrying on doing mindful walks and taking notice of beautiful nature around you. We hope you have been inspired with ideas of how to support your mental well-being. It would be great if you can share these ideas with others or find out more by visiting our website. Take care and stay safe.